Okay, hello everybody. Good morning. Good morning. God bless you all. Um, again, I come in the name of Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, um, Jehovah Jireh, our Lord and Savior. So, fr from last night until today, the Lord has been dealing with me, uh, speaking things to me that I know that He wants me to relay to the body of Christ and to those, especially those who are unsaved. So, um, last night I was just kind of in prayer, just going about, you know, my day or, you know, evening. Um, and I had a thought pass through my head and I asked the Lord, I said, Lord, you know, how, how do I get my children kingdom ready? How do I teach them about you? How do I teach my brothers and sisters? How, how do I, how am I, who am I? Get it? You know? And I heard, <laughs> you know, and I don't, I don't speak Hebrew. I think we all know that. Um, but I heard the word Shama. Shama. So I said, okay. So I, I've been learning how to trust the Lord, to trust that it's not me just making these things up in my head. Literally, you know, I went on a Google search and learned that the word Shama in Hebrew means to listen and to to, to listen and obey in Hebrew. God bless. I mean, you know, um, so, you know, and as the night continued, I got another word, you know, from the Lord, and it was, it was De Lama, De Lama, and I said, De Lama, like, that sounded like Spanish, that, or excuse me, that sounded like Latin, it sounded like Latin in Hebrew to me. So as I researched the words, I figured out Lama came from what the Lord said at Calvary when he died on the cross. Um, he said, Eloi, Eloi. Um, what was it, Lama? Um, you know, well, it, pretty much, you know, what, what he had yelled out was, Father, Father, why have you forsaken me? Why have you forsaken me? But he said it in a mixture of Latin, Hebrew, and uh, Arabic, I believe, because back in those days, that's what pretty much the crowd was speaking, plus Greek. They were, they were speaking Grecian as well, I believe. Um, so I figured out day, in Latin means like down, like to put down, down. And um, llama, literally like llama, <laughs> um, meant why. So I said, well, what are you asking me, Lord? And then I figured it out. Why are you down? I said, I don't know. You know, I really am starting to understand that I feel that the body of Christ, we all start to actually feel each other as a whole. So I just wanted to know if anybody else has been feeling the way that I've been feeling lately. It just, because everything's okay, you know. I couldn't really answer. It was just like a remorse, not like a guilt. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. Like, um, just sad. Just feeling sad. Um, so I brought that to the Lord and I prayed on it. And I believe that that's my answer is I'm, I'm feeling, you know, the, the body. We feel everything as a, help me Holy Spirit, just as a, corporately. Thank you, Holy Ghost. So, um, another thing as I was sitting and reading the Bible Something came to me, and it's like, you know, for the people who are not saved, at it is, you know, as it is the 11th hour, um, and we're being called to be the workers, to come and bring in a harvest, to come out and save the ones who are, who are unsaved, like I was saved. You know what I mean? So, I was like, Lord, how do I, um, how do I help people turn to the Lord? Nobody's going to listen to me. It's not me that you're listening to, you know. These, this is what the Lord wants. This, this is His call, and I'm just doing my job. So, you know, ladies and gentlemen, there is something called the sinner's prayer. I'll do a video on that, but I'm gonna just tell you the rundown. This is just simply what I did, you know. When I was pregnant in a situation. 
I like because I grew up as a Christian, but I never had like an interpersonal relationship with the Lord, like where I would talk to Him and sit and commune with Him. You know, He actually is a a person. He well, He's a God, but He actually is our Father. You know what I mean? He's somebody you can communicate with. Whether you want to believe it or not, well, why don't you take the walk and see for yourself? So, you know, um, I just started, I actually started watching Bishop T.D. Jakes and doing my own church at home and then opening up my Bible. And before I knew it, I thought that, you know, getting these little inklings on how to um, live my life, how to be, how... The answer and the key to everything in life is love. Love each other. Never respond with anger or out of pain or hurt. Think before you move. Like, you know, my little Bible boot camp I told you guys about earlier in my testimony. Okay? So, one night, um, I'm sitting with my mother who is saved as well. Excuse me. I know that was gross. I'm sick. So, <laughs> real sick. So, anywho, um, my mother turned and she said, Have you ever actually said out loud, Jesus, I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Please come into my heart. Fix the things that I cannot, you know. And that's not the full sinner's prayer, but you don't have to. Once you speak those words out loud, you open the door for him. Because he's standing there, he's knocking. So I open the door. And for the past year now, the Lord has been dealing with me and my heart. He's made life livable. He took away everybody out of my life that was harming me or could possibly harm me. He put in awareness there, discernment, you know, of who was of Christ and who wasn't. And now I can see if if you're his or not. And if you're not, I'm coming for you with the Bible <laughs> to save you or... I have to leave you alone, you know? He opened up my eyes to a lot. Holy Spirit, help me. The agape, living in the true agape, the love of Christ, helped me learn how to love and respect myself first, always, um, after, of course, respecting and loving Christ. Now I know how to be a mother, how to be a wife, how to be a friend, how to be a daughter, how to stay sober, how to walk with love and truth in my heart. And that's the Lord Jesus Christ, the Word. The Word is Jesus Christ. It is God. He is the living Word, the living water. So right now is everything's happening around us and, you know, everybody... The New Age thinks that, you know, 1111, these triple digit numbers and everything are, you know, a call to awakening, a higher extension. Nobody ever thinks to open the Bible. You know, read Matthew. Uh, You know, I'll leave some scripture down below because I don't want to, and I'm wrong. (laughs) Okay. So, um, pretty much the 11th hour is a call to the end time workers. The 144,000 who are sealed with the Lord's name. Because not everybody that is called is chosen. Because when you're called, you must go to work. You th- Did you think I ever saw myself doing videos? You know, on YouTube? Talking about end time prophecy and the 144,000? Okay. And I used to be like an insecure woman. I was, I was worried about what everybody thought. And I could care less. Because I, the Lord has put in my heart. We all feel something is happening. Something is happening. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Are you going to continue to walk in your ways? Are you going to continue in sin? Drugs? Alcohol? Fornicating? I mean, I'm being real. Fornication, it is a sin. I've been celibate for a year and a half. And continue, and I plan to be, I plan to marry Christ, you know what I mean? I know maybe one day the Lord will send me my husband. But not until I'm done 
you know what I mean? Completely learning how to be an obedient priest, disciple of the Lord. And I know anybody that I'm marrying has got to love the Lord way more than I do. Way more than I do. I would need him to be a leader of the family. You know what I mean? So that we don't let sin in our house ever again. You know? Anyways. You know, I, I, I'm just here because I want to help save you by being an example for you. That anybody can be saved. Anybody. It's never too late. It's never too late. If you want to know how to get sober, because you can't, like, nothing you do, or it's gotten to a point where you feel like you can't live anymore, I'm telling you, you are loved. And he's standing at your door, and he's knocking right now. He's the only way. Try him. Try him. I promise you. Guaranteed, he will come to you. Quickly. And I'm not saying the walk is easy. I'm not saying it's easy at all, but haven't you carousled and, you know, had enough time in your life to live your little life and do what it is you want to do? Why don't you give a little time over to the Lord now? Because the reward and the inheritance that he has to give you is nothing compared to the little bit of suffering you might do. To suffer for Christ is an honor. It's an honor. You know... And that's, that's one thing that I noticed throughout my life, why I was always singled out, picked on, messed with, and just constantly. I've, I've never really had friends, ever. Family members hated me. <laughs> people just hate me, and, you know, my mother pointed, well, my father, too, who, who are people of God. Man, I love my parents. I really do. And that's, that's another thing. I know I'm jumping all over the place here, but I'm, I'm just speaking my heart. He who has an ear, let him hear. Uh, I've learned how to actually love deeply. You know what I mean? Even my enemies. I pray for you. I, <laughs> I really do. Because nobody deserves what... Nobody deserves to get caught in this judgment that is actually here. He is judging the living. If you don't believe me, I I'm sorry. And I'll pray for you, you know. I'll pray for you. If you need me to pray for you, let me know. Send me a message, you know. Um, I'm thinking about posting my email so I can do some prayer requests, you know. Um, I don't have too many followers. I'm not... I guess I'm not, I'm really not worried about it. I need to speak the word of the Lord. Um, and a lot of you are being called to be a watchman at these end times. A lot of you. So this is me telling you, this is your job at the end times. Um, especially if you're seeing these, 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 you know, double, di triple digit numbers. 11, 11. 12, 12 is mine, which I just learned was um, an apost ap apostolic call or something. I was like, oh. <coughs> but yes, it, when he calls you, it's through his strength in his word that you will have, you know what I mean? I don't want to say success. The only thing I'm worried about is the harvest. And the end time harvest, this is going to be the biggest harvest that has ever been brought into heaven. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Okay, and for the people who knew me before this, you know, and you see me now, you know, this is a living testimony of what Jesus Christ can do for you. So, again, I pray for you all. I love you all in Christ. Um, and I'm telling you, Jehovah loves you. He does. All you have to do is just render your heart to him. Call out to him. And he'll come in swiftly. Swiftly. Snatch you out of that fire. Alright, so, anyways, have a blessed day. I love you all.